Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we'll be going through module pattern and this is going to be the first video of this whole series where I'll be trying to basically cover all the JavaScript design patterns. You can say classical design pattern, but whatever. Uh, let's see how it goes off. But anyway, uh, this video will mainly focus on module pattern. Okay, so for that, I have taken a basic example as uh, just let me walk you through the example for now. Okay, I have a script tag, okay, where I uh, basically declare, uh, I've written let a equal to one. And I have another zip file basically where I have to, told console.log a. So just to be on the same page, whether you know about uh, how script, uh, basically how basic web application works, just to be on the same page, I'm doing a very ba basic example here. So now what is happening is like first I'm declaring my script one file, then I'm declaring the script two file. So it's very important uh, chaining matters very much because I'm declaring the file, uh, I'm declaring a variable here and I'm, I'm accessing the variable script two. Why would you do that? That's a different concern, but just to be on the same page with me. So as you can see, I'm able to do console.log one. Okay, now if I come back and just uh, change the placing of it, now I think you might be understanding it will give a reference here because it's trying to access something which is not defined already. So this was one of the ways, okay, which basically how, how you can see is like if you write your code in one file, it can get affected by other files. Okay, it can become very messy. So one pattern which comes to the help is a iffy pattern. You can see immediately invoke function expression, I guess. Immediately invoke function expression. Yeah, cool. Okay, uh, just to see how it might work on a better example, let me uh, comment it off. Okay, let a equal to one and let me comment this script tag. I'll just comment and keep it so that you can use it later on. But as you can see, uh, let me write a function here. Function if we only, nothing much special here. Okay, let a equal to one function get return a function increment a plus plus okay now i'll just wrap it wrap the function and invoke it okay so and now what I can do is like, I can just write ify here to be very, uh, let me give it namespace, let me give module only, okay, module namespace, okay, save. Now what I can do is like, uh, I can return what I would like it to, uh, what I would like the module namespace to have okay i'm not explaining the ify pattern i'm assuming that you're familiar with it uh, let me know in the comments if you're not familiar maybe i can make a separate video on it but this video i'm just assuming that you are familiar with ify okay so you have the increment now i come back here okay instead of doing console.log a i'll do module namespace first let me do console.log No, it should be get. And let me come back here and uncomment it also. Let's me see whether I have made a mistake. It's one. Okay. Now let me do some increment. To be on the same page whether it's working or not. Let's see the output should be two now. As you can see, it's working now, okay. But as you can imagine, it might become again messy if you write this way, but it's very common pattern. I think this is a revealing module pattern because you can basically, I think so. There are different ways of implementing this uh, pattern. So in a way, we have implemented module pattern, by the way, just to be on the same page, okay. This is, I think, revealing module pattern, I guess. There are different ways of implementing module pattern. Revealing module pattern is very much popular, I guess. It has its own drop, positive and, and drawbacks again. Like what is the thing is that like you can declare all your functions or variables on the top of the place and you can just return an object literal and just uh, return things which you would like to expose. Maybe you could have not exposed increment. Suppose if you want, you can just uh, comment it off. I will throw an error now. Okay, so basically you can easily do it. Uh, again, it has some of its trade-offs, okay. The other way is like uh, you can do using common JS. I'll get back to it later on. But uh, the, I'm just skipping directly to the ES, uh, ECMAScript modules. So instead of uh, doing this way, what you can do is like you can tell your know, type is module. Uh, let me create other files for this. Okay, browser, new folder, ES, 
okay let me write new file script one es dot js let me get another file again script two hyphen es dot js okay now let me do one thing i'll just be lazy here and just copy this part okay and let me uncopy coming back copy script one paste okay now what I have to do in the browser, uh, let me first comment this also, let me first copy paste and comment. It should be what, browser, uh, yes, once again, was it in correct folder, yeah, correct on it. So I copy it and paste it here. Okay. So now what we can do is like here instead of doing this way, we can say what we would like it to expose. Okay, so I would like it. I would like since I'm uh, by the to declare it in uh, basically yes, basically it, uh, we need to declare we need to tell browser that's a different type of mod. It needs to be executed differently like how we normally execute it. We need to tell that browser using type equal to module tag. Okay. Now what I can do is like I can say export function again I can do a default export as well which is nothing but get and then increment okay uh, let me see whether I'm getting an error or not for now as you can see there is no error no output as well let me come to skip 2.js and just do get I guess console.log get by the way uh, I think I missed out previously basically I had to bang my head a lot for this uh, but you can have to have the es.js here okay because browser is not going to be understand it's a javascript file okay so you need to have the js here okay anyway console.log get I can do increment also Can I use import statement outside of a module? Since we are trying to use uh, import statements, okay, we need to uh, in the script two file we need to use we need to tell basically type equal module. So it's basically it becomes like from here you can notice like if you are getting into module then you need to basically get into it completely in one way. You can't do it partially. Like okay, uh, I don't know whether you understood, but I hope you understood what I'm trying to get at. What I meant there. Okay. So anyway, so if I come back. 1, 2, now you can output, get the output, okay. So, uh, again you can do here something different or similar we can say. Like we can again have the namespace also. Since I uh, done the export default here. So, I can take it. Import. What module. Name. Space. From. Scriptjs.js. I can just copy this, come back here, let me see it works or not now, see it's same thing, let me refresh to be in the same place, it's working fine. So you can namespace also and let me do console.log also. If you are curious, let me see also what I got. So you can see get an F increment. Anyway, I, I just ignore it for now. I'll just remove it also. So as you can see, uh, I'm able to work it out. Okay, it's working fine. So this is the model pattern, honestly speaking. It's nothing but like uh, in a, a way for you to declare your public and private variables and what you would like to expose it outside. Okay. Uh, I went, I have explored the browser side of things, but uh, let me come back to node side of things also for now. See, the thing is like uh, node ha had its own module system, which you can say common JS. I think you are familiar with it. I am assuming it. So, um, so, so it, uh, it currently supports both of them in a way. It has its own common JS uh, system as well as the ECMAScript module system also. So, Again, it's like I think we, it's better we will just get hands on what it means. 
let me create an index.js file as well as script.js file okay let me be lazy here again and let me copy some of this stuff okay not this one but here this one copy index not index it should be script script.js paste now i uh, by the way i'm assuming you know node okay so but just to be on the same page every file in when you're writing node code okay in a node project basically it's a module of its own so in a way you need to export it out okay get increment okay now let me come here let me be somewhat lazy and some script to yeah here copy where was it okay let me first uh, not do this one okay should be script it's for some reason taking a import i'm not sure why but let me just make it require it will be what equal const okay uh, okay it is wrong here it should be increment save as you can see it's working fine i can do one more way is like i can just like it came by default let me comment it module namespace paste as you can see i can again get the same output okay this was in script.js okay now by default node.js gives you uh, uses common js uh, model system but you can convert it to es ecmascript model system as well okay i'll show you how to do that also script let me copy it what here i guess here again i'm doing something similar here export function export get increment okay now let me do one thing let me comment this all stuff i think it should work let me do a copy paste uncomment okay so again let me cut it as you can see it's saying cannot use import outside of a module so and uh, it's saying uh, to load an es module set type module in the package or json or use the ms m dot, dot mjs extension so we'll do that we'll just make it mjs for now let's see what happens let's see whether it works or not now it's saying mm, I'm not sure. Let me write the extension here. Yeah. Now it's saying uh, name export get not found directory model is a common JS module which may not support. Wait one second. Yeah. So I need to convert this also uh, to MJS. I think this should work now. Okay, let's save it out. Yeah, it's working fine now. So this was the easy way. Let me convert it back. Let me try to execute it again. Let's see what error estimate gives. 
uh, it's saying cannot use import statement outside a module uh, the other way is like you can give the type as module that's what i'm trying to say okay so now if i come back to the my source code and if i come here and write new file uh, let me do in uh, package in it only here one second okay let me come here and give the type is by default as you can see it's in common js i'll take it module now okay let's see what happens now yeah, it's working fine now so uh, this video was just to give you an overview about what module pattern is because by default we use it we take it for granted honestly speaking because a lot of tools which we rely on use uh, have this pattern in built into them like node.js as you have seen like it gives you all this ways of writing modules itself and like in browser also so but to be on the same page the module pattern is nothing but just uh, declaring your variables and deciding what can be accessed outside of those modules like you can decide which variables you want to expose and which variables of function you don't want to expose that's the gist of module pattern okay and hope to see you in the next video as well by the way i'll be uh, checking this uh, code in the github as well so you can check that out as well and do follow the other videos also of this playlist which will be soon coming up i guess okay hope to see you there and bye